Hello everyone and welcome to Advanced Health Assessment and Clinical Diagnostic Reasoning. My name is Dr. April Weiss and I will be the uh, faculty for your section of your Advanced Health Assessment course this semester. What I wanted to do initially is take a look at the course within Canvas to give you an idea of what you will be seeing in your course, help you navigate just a little bit, um, and kind of give you an overview of the assignments and how the modules look and where you can go to find important beginning information. So let's log into the course. This is the UNCW Canvas uh, dashboard, and this is going to be our course for this section. So when you first log into the course, you'll see something that says, Welcome to Nursing 510. That's Advanced Health Assessment for Nurse Educators in this section. And you're going to see your nice old toolbar here on the left-hand side. Some of you may be familiar with Canvas. Others of you may be a little bit less familiar. So um, I'm going to kind of introduce you uh, back and forth to some of the areas that you would see in the course. So on the first home page, you're going to see some important key tips for um, general success. You're also going to see a very quick entryway for you to get to modules one through seven. You'll also find a link for the syllabus, a link for policies, a link for information about me, your faculty, and also a link for technical and other types of support. Uh, when you come over here, you'll also see a link for announcements. When you click on that, that's where you want to kind of take a look Pretty often, I do t uh, tend to make announcements in the course uh, a few times a week. Um, sometimes on less busier weeks, I won't post as much. I do try to also make sure I send that as an email, but it is your responsibility to make sure that you are logging into the course regularly to see any announcements for updates and information. The next place you'll want to take a look at is the module section. So within the module section, you're going to find at first some pretty key and important information for you to review before you get started with anything. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is take a look at the Meet Your Faculty page, and that's basically where you will find a short video created by me about myself, and you'll see some information about my work, um, what makes me qualified to teach this course uh, to you in Advanced Health Assessment. You'll find some information about my family, and then also really important information on how to contact me. The best way to contact me is via email. I do tend to be on my email and check that every three to five hours during the day. Um, so you can um, pretty much be sure that if you send me an email by the end of the day, I will respond to you. If I haven't responded to you in the same day, that's not like me and I would try uh, possibly doing a follow-up email. This is also my office phone number for you and then some information about um, what hours you can text me through the Remind app. Now Remind is an app that uh, faculty and teachers use from elementary school on into higher education. And this right here, these two links show you how to get the application called Remind. And it's basically an app that you would download to your phone if you have access to a smartphone in which you could text me at any time that you want and ask me questions about the course, about the assignments, or if you're just kind of stuck on something and you uh, need an answer from me, this allows you to text message me through that application. It also allows me to send out class-wide reminders and information, um, kind of tips, pictures, um, anything I want to to kind of give you an information about the course or updates about when assignments are due, I may send that through the Remind application as well. It is not required for you to have the Remind app. It is simply um, kind of like an extra virtual tool that I like to use in classes to keep us more connected, enhance our social presence, and also give you a way to contact me at any time. So the course... Um, code for the Remind app for this class is going to be AEBGE. That's for this semester and this uh, specific course. So you want to make sure if you decide to download the applications from one of these sites or you look up the application known as Remind on your um, um, app store on your phone that this is the site that you would or this is the code that you would use to get in. All right, so next 
on the modules page, you'll find some information about Shadow Health Purchase Registration. Shadow Health is a health assessment platform for advanced practice and also registered nurse practice to help students explore and get to know health assessment as a subject. It is basically a way for us to do things that we couldn't do um, otherwise if we didn't have this type of program. It encourages and incorporates avatars, patient avatars, where you can actually assess, interview, um, do physical exams, and document all within the program. We actually will not do the documentation in the Shadow Health program, but we will do virtually everything else within that program. Here, you'll find out what a DCE or Digital Clinical Experience Score is. This basically lets you know what you can expect with how you are getting evaluated in Shadow Health for each one of the system assignments that you do. You'll also find information under this link about how to get technical support through Shadow Health. Although I would love to be the person that knows everything about Shadow Health, I am not the expert. So if you have questions about Shadow Health, you want to make sure that you are contacting the correct support, which is listed here for you. This next link is also helpful um, information about where you can get extra tips and resources uh, for Shadow Health information. Next, I have some information here about what is a lab pass. Students will constantly email me saying, what's a lab pass, Dr. Bice? Well, this tells you what a lab pass is. A lab pass is essentially a way for you to get proof to show me to submit to the Grade Center that you have completed an assignment within the Shadow Health Virtual Program and that you have um, com gotten a score, a DCE uh, clinical score, from the program itself. Next, I have information here about the textbook resource that you need. So that's also found on the syllabus, but you want to make sure that you are ordering that textbook as soon as possible. The Class Cafe is essentially a place for you to ask course questions and answers. Any question that you have that may um, be something helpful for other students to get an answer to as well, please post it in the Class Cafe because that's a place for everybody to go and look for answers to common questions. And trust me, if you have a question about it, you may not be the only one. So posting that question there will help me answer the question for all. Next, the SOAP mode. SOAP note documentation information and template. There is a specific way in this class that we have you do SOAP note documentation. It's important for you to follow the template that we provide and all of the information that we give you on resources on how to do a SOAP note. Hopefully you remember this, but a SOAP note is essentially broken down into subjective data, objective data, your assessment, and your plan. So basically, um, these are the ways that we will get information from you about your inner um, views and your experiences within the Shadow Health program. Next, you're going to find every one of your modules, module one through seven, one for each week, listed here on the modules page. Where you see a module overview, let's go into module one, for example. You're going to find first the module topics for that week, an explanation about those topics. You'll find out what your student learning outcomes are. What can you expect from this week module that you're going to learn? You'll also have to-do lists for this module. So for your first module uh, in week one, you're going to be reading chapter one, you're going to be reading chapter three, you're going to be watching various soap note videos, basically on how to do a soap note, what the differences between subjective and objective data collection are, that's essential. You'll review the SOAP note documentation template that we just went over. And I have created a Shadow Health uh, patient interaction example here for you as well. Another really important thing I want you to know is that sometimes you're going to be watching videos in this class that are actually not me, they're other faculty members. We at UNCW, uh, the nurse practitioners, kind of rally together to help make videos for all of the students. And when one of those videos has been ex exemplary, they may use mine, I might use theirs because we all teach the same course. So you may see uh, videos from Dr. Tamara Link or myself or even some other faculty. That doesn't mean that they are your faculty or that you need to contact them. I am your faculty for this course. But what it does mean is that the content and the video still applies to your uh, completion of assignments in this course. 
Next, within each module, you'll find a section that says Submit Your Assignments. So for Module 1, you'll notice that you have a discussion board for introducing yourself. You have a discussion board focused on cultural competency. You have your digital clinical experience orientation to complete and your conversation concept lab in Shadow Health to complete. These last two assignments here are both within Shadow Health and these first two assignments here are within Canvas. Now, it is really very essential that you review all of the information and resources that we give you. Okay, you are going to find that when you are in this course from module to module, you may feel overwhelmed. And as much as I want to communicate to you that that is normal for you to feel, feel overwhelmed in an OAP seven week program, I also cannot stress enough how important it is for you to stay on task, stay organized, and follow all of the directions, complete all assignments either early on or within the week that they are due because we do not accept late assignments in this course without faculty pre-approval. I understand that life happens and I certainly will take that into consideration if you need um, an extension on your assignment, but non-submitted assignments unless you get faculty approval or unless there is an emergency will not be accepted. All right, so let's move on to the next page. So the next page I wanted to go over with you is the course syllabus page. Here you'll find the syllabus that's updated for this summer and also the course schedule of assignments that are due for this session. And if you feel like you just need kind of a quick glance at the course summary on the course syllabus page, you'll find what that quick glance for assignments is. You just have to log all the way down and you'll see week by week what is due. Next, you have the assignments page. On the assignments page, you will find every single assignment that you are to be submitting for this class. Please do not panic when you see this. I understand that it is a lot of assignments that we must um, grade for you, but it's essential for you to understand that in a seven week OAP course, you are required to spend about 18 hours a week on coursework because we take a normal 15 week uh, semester and we combine that all into half the amount of time. Again, it is a lot of work, but it is required in order for you to meet the objectives of the course and really for you to be great at health assessment when you get out of this class. So you'll see that the first um, Assignment here is your digital clinical experience orientation. You have single system assignments, which is basically assignments within Shadow Health on all of the body systems. Concept labs, which are a way for you to understand how you will complete a physical exam of a specific body system. Okay, and you only have four of those. They really are just participation uh, scores that you, after you complete them and get a concept lab pass. Then you have focused health assessment that you complete in the shadow health, uh, which are a little bit different from your single system assignments because for these assist assignments, you can go in as many times as you want to complete them. Even if you um, didn't do so great the, the first time, you can go in and redo it. For your focused assignments, you are not allowed to retake those. You get one attempt only. You also have quizzes that you will complete over the course of the seven weeks. Um, an HEENT quiz, respiratory, cardiovascular, abdominal, musculoskeletal, and neuro. Again, these quizzes will be focused on differential diagnosis and clinical reasoning as well as physical exam. And then last, you have three discussions. The last discussion is the final week, the final module, and the first two discussions are in the first week in the first module. You can find your discussions on the discussion menu uh, tab here as well. Okay, you can just enter those discussion boards by clicking on the link. You will also find a direct access to all of your quizzes should you need to do that, but you can additionally access each one of these quizzes from the module directly. You can also access obviously your grades from your course, and then you can locate and find out who is in your class and get information on your peers that are also taking the health assessment class with you. All right, so that's essentially an overview of your course. It is certainly not a detailed, comprehensive bit of information, but it should help you get started in locating things, finding things. You will find um, that the course, again, is pretty compacted and there's lots in 
um, each week. So make sure, again, that you are staying on task because the most important part of being successful in this class is being organized and being able to follow all of the guidelines, reviewing the syllabus, paying attention to your course summary, and looking closely at all of your directions. The very last thing I wanted to show you, which is awesome about Canvas, and I love this, and hopefully you've, if you've worked in Canvas, you've already been um, able to see this previously, but for each week in your calendar, you will find that your little assignment links are here for you. So when you go to the course calendar over here,